So we've hit the highlights on resume 1.0, the basic resume that you should always have ready. You should have this prepared now, not when you're getting ready to look for a job or an internship now as you're getting started, or even if you're years down the road, it's always a good time to reevaluate what's on your resume. Make sure that contact information is accurate. Make sure you have a good summary and you can tailor that to specific things. Make sure your education is accurate and up to date and list your specific major and degree program. Make sure your experience is thorough and accurate accurate. That's the word I want you to know. It has to be accurate. If we find mistakes on a resume, whether they be of content or technical things like spelling and grammar, that alone can be enough to exclude you. Activities and skills are important things that students tend to forget to add to a resume. What about leadership? Are you involved in clubs or organizations? Make sure if you are that you try to find ways to be a leader. That can be something simple. You don't have to be the president or the vice president. It can simply be a, a committee chair, or you could put forward a program that you actually manage and coordinate. That's leadership. It's one of the top things that employers are looking for. So leadership is good. Clubs, any organizations that you're a member of as part of your time as a student, these things will really convey to an employer that you are involved and active. What about volunteer experience? Very important for an employer to see that you're community minded. How about other activities that you're involved in? What about sports? I'm amazed sometimes students that have not even just on the collegiate level, they're participating in intramural sports. Go ahead and include that on the resume. It goes to your activity level, but it also shows, especially with a good academic record, the ability to multitask and maintain those things. What else can you include? Well, how about your computer skills? People tend to list very simple things like Microsoft Office, which I encourage you to do because almost every job description I look at lists Microsoft Office. And remember what we talked about. If it's on the job description, you can get it on the resume. That's helpful. But anything beyond that, if you're a major that has uh, certifications or licensures, you should include those. If you've been uh, approved for a program, what about a project? that you were involved in that created some amazing product, by all means, include that on your resume. The point I'm trying to convey here is don't limit yourself to very simple, easy things like a club that you're a member of. Think beyond that so you can include all kinds of different activities. A caution, don't go crazy with the activities and skills section. That's not going to get you a job. Experience and education are gonna get you a job, but this, can do two things. One, it can convey to an employer your level of activity, which can show them, especially in the leadership side, that you're involved. But two, these can be great talking points for an interview. If they see a volunteer cause that they believe in, if they see a sport that they're familiar with and interested in, if they see a professional organization that you're a member of that they are a member of, which by the way is not impossible. If you're a student member of a professional organization applying for a job within that field, then chances are somebody interviewing you could also be in that. Great talking points for an interview. Contact info, the summary, your education, your experience, and your activities and skills. These are things that everyone should always have on a resume prepared all the time. Don't get to a situation where somebody asks you for a resume and you have to run back and get one organized and send to them hours, days, weeks later. That will not impress them. Always have this resume. It's resume 1.0. That's the baseline. It should be version 2.0, 3.0. You should have a resume that constantly grows with your profession and your career and expands. Keep it ready at all times. You never know when you may need it. Hey, my name's Corey, College of Charleston School of Business Student Success Center, always willing to help you as a school of business major or minor as you're working towards your career goals. Good luck.